Nasser Ramazan from London, born and brought up, Dr. Saab. First of all, congratulations. My question is, living in the Western world, Qiyamat is the day that's been you know, known from the day the universe and everything was determined. There are signs about Qiyamat, build up to the Qiyamat. What is your view about the major signs or any of those signs that have appeared, considering the state of our Muslim Ummah in the afflictions and everything that's happening in the dunya at the moment? It was asked the question that Kiamat is bound to come and what are the major and minor signs of the days of Kiamat and the afflictions that will come. As far as Kiamat is concerned, Allah says in the Quran, Surah Luqman, chapter number 31, verse number 34, that no one knows the hour except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that Kiamat day, no one knows except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But there are signs, minor signs and major signs. There are many signs of Qiyamah. The first sign was the coming of the last and final messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Only after the last messengers come, last messenger would come, would the Qiyamah come after that. And Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, 1400 years back he came, he was one of the earliest signs of Qiyamah. But there are many other signs. But we do not know how long would one, after this sign, how long will it take for Qiyamah to come. It may take few days, few months, few years, 100 years, we don't know. And there are many signs that are coming true. Many signs. And one of the signs of Qiyamah was also that the Bedouin Arabs would compete with each other in making tall buildings. And we know that, mashallah, today the tall buildings are made by the Arabs and this very city and country, Dubai, has the tallest building in the, in the world, Burj Khalifa. And they compete. So now there is news in another part you know, in Saudi Arabia, a building of one mile is coming or one kilometer is coming. They're competing. So today, you know, the tallest building in the world today is Burj Khalifa. It is about 828 meters high. And I was there today again, and I've been there several times. The second tallest is Makkah Tower, about 650 meters. So the two tallest towers are made by the Arabs. So these are signs. Then there, then, then there are other signs that people will decorate the mosque and make it very... Uh, expensive and decorated. See, all, any sign of Qiyamah doesn't mean the sign is good or bad. Some signs are bad, some signs are good. That the coming of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a good sign. So you cannot say making tall building is good or bad. You cannot say because it's a sign of Qiyamah, I will not make, Qiyamah will come. <laughs> so making tall building is not bad because it's a sign of Qiyamah. Making mosques which are posh is not bad. Some signs are bad, some signs are good. It talks about many evil things. And there's a book written... Uh, the, the very book written, uh, very good book written by uh, Muhammad Al Arifi on this whole major and minor signs. We describe in detail. But yet, we as Muslims, we should follow the Quran and Sunnah. Yes. Whether Qiyam is going to come after one week, or one month, or one year, or thousand years, we have to follow Quran and Sunnah. We don't have to wait for it. Our dealings, our ibadah will remain the same, our behavior will remain the same. And when there are signs, Isa al -Islam will come again, he is one of the signs of Qiyamah. He will come and testify to the world. He never said that he was God, but he is a messenger of God. Then there will be Imam Mahdi will come. And there are many signs. And anyone who supports Imam Mahdi and to fight against the Kuffar, they, will be, they have promised Jannah. So there are many signs that are there. You can give a lecture on that. But all these signs, we as Muslims, we should read the Quran and implement on it and see it we follow the guidance. That's important. Hope that answers the question. Thank you. Shukriya. Bye. Today I'm coming here because I have six doubts which I believe if I get the right answer I'm ready to convert and accept to Islam.